Hi everybody, this is Dave Vellante, and we're here at the Tug event, the seventh annual wine event uh, for great cause and entrepreneurship. And we ran into Bob Brennan, who's the CEO of Vericode. This company does on-demand security and testing, a very interesting cloud models, a lot of action going on, a lot of buzz in the East Coast. Uh, Bob, thanks very much for spending some time with us. Great to see you again, Dave. Yeah, so what's happening with, uh, with Vericode? Give us the bumper sticker on the company and then give us an update. So we prevent the most common form of attack, and we do it by sitting between software suppliers and their customers, large corporations, and making both more effective and secure by finding their security holes and then plugging the security holes in the applications that those corporations are buying and that those vendors are providing. Now, you guys provide this as a service, right? Is that, that's yeah, one of the options, right? As a service. We've actually, we've, we know more about software security and software vulnerabilities than any other company in the world because we've been doing it as a service as long as Tug's been doing this for seven years. Yeah, so, you know, you see a lot of businesses that are kind of traditional businesses. Maybe they were done on premise. And then all of a sudden the cloud comes in. It started with CRM, but you're starting to see a lot more infrastructure services these days. Uh, what, what's that trend mean? What does that mean for you guys? Well, what it means in general is that you can offload something where you have the ability to learn from all of the customers of that service versus just using it yourself on site and getting and, and knowing what you're doing. You can learn what your peer group is doing. So we can tell our customers how they compare to other people running similar applications, how they compare to other S&P 500 companies, how they compare to, uh, you know, really we can slice and dice it by any which way because we have an enormous amount of data across 45,000 applications where we've found over four and a half million flaws. So we know based on the software you're running whether or not it's secure or not just by doing a quick pass and creating a heat map. So, how, how, so is it a disruptive play? I mean, are you sort of disrupting the traditional security plays, but it's different because you're really actually helping you know, the development community actually get products off the ground, aren't you? Yeah, we're helping both software providers and their customers become more effective and secure. So the disruption for us is we really believe in our bones that we're helping all the technology industry get better and more effective and secure because the world runs on software and that's a, an inexorable trend that plays right into you know what we're offering. So every you know it's it's the beginning of the year. Every year in December I look back and I say, are we more or less secure than we were last year? And it feels like we're consistently less secure. The bad guys are getting badder and governments are getting bigger. Do you feel like you're attacking the, the root of the problem here? The root of the problem is the software application. It's such a Byzantine layer. If you think about codes called code for a reason. Right, it was developed by many different people over many different generations of many different sizes and types of engineers, software developers, marketeers putting up websites. So it's an easy layer to attack, but it's also a very practical layer to protect. And that's what we're setting out to do and why we think we're helping a lot. Now, where are you as a company? You know, talk about maybe headcount, funding, you know. IPO, anything you want to sort of share with us there? So we've uh, we've raised 82 million. Atlas is our founding investor and our our largest investor. Uh, we did uh, 34 million last year. We expect to do 60 this year. Uh, we're growing at a pretty rapid pace, and uh, our headcount right now is 220. And you know we're we're looking to finish this year at around 300. So what do you think about the whole Boston scene? It feels like it's really sort of coagulating around big data. You obviously got some, some bringing some security mojo to the table. It feels like this whole region is really getting back on its feet in a big way. Well, it's incredibly fertile ground, right? It, just think about the uh, amount of talent that sits in this area and the opportunity to create uh, large independent companies given the talent that sits here. And in security in particular, great companies started with RSA, right? Uh, Q1 Labs ourselves, Bit9, Rapid7, it, it is a great security kind of it, 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 roots that are here that we can tap into and allow us to grow our company and really allow us to grow the Boston area, which we love. It's home for us. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Bob, thanks for spending a couple of minutes with us. Thank great to Dave. see you again. Nice to see you as well. All right, take All right, care. Dave. All right, this is Dave Vellante, and we're here at the Tug event. Keep it right there. We'll be back with our next guest. This is theCUBE, and we're in Boston, and we're live.